Well, it's Henry Weeder, man, so I took the clamshell on the steel MS-194 and I cleaned it with brake cleaner because I want my gasket material to stick on it real good. I've already done the same thing with uh, the piston. I just recheck it again. Just a little bit. Make sure that sealing area is clean. I take my gasket material. I got my little tool here. I've been using it forever. And I'll just go ahead and paint this on. It doesn't have to be a thick coating. But you don't want to make it too thin either. Get it right out where the gasket is. Because that's a vulnerability spot. And I just use this and paint a light coat on. Then I'll do a quick stick test. I like this stuff, um, this particular product, because it doesn't dry real fast on you. I've used some that you had a short work period of time, and it made you rush. This doesn't make you rush. About 600 some degrees, it's ready to. Hey, good luck with it. You know you got a contaminated surface area, because... As you're putting it on, if it is um, not clean right, it will not stick to it. You want to get a good seal because you don't want no gases coming in or going out. It should be going one spot only. There's a little screw in on this that tells, shows you what direction it goes. It goes towards the clutch side. Does not go towards the uh, flywheel side. The clearance on this is tight, so you crimp down on this, it's gonna it's gonna seal all the voids area. I take it right out to the edge. My tools. I like the way my tool works. Okay, I got it. Oh, make sure I got no excess. All right. Here's the here's your engine. Remember I said the front screw, the front screw goes towards the clutch. And then you'll just slide that on there. This is an OEM cylinder I bought for a good price. You have to pre-start the screws because um, they're not threaded. The screws thread them. And then I'll take, I'll take my wrench and I'll tighten them down. And there you go. And I got a good squish all the way around. I got a good amount of sealant coming out. Should, should do a good job pressure testing. Um, I don't put it on my, on my uh, rubber seals. Some people do. I've never had a problem with that. They should seal in the case and on the shaft. Um, I see people trying to do that, but I don't know how you keep them clean when you lube them up. So, I don't know. I haven't tried that out yet, but this is how I've been doing it. And I haven't had any issues. I already Henry the Weeder Man out.